Hi everyone, it's Mary Ann. Welcome to my Wasteless Life. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my plant haul from Chicago. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new, this is my Wasteless Life, where I take you along my plant and sustainable lifestyle journey and share with you some of my tips and tricks along the way. So today I'll be sharing with you the plants that I got during my trip in Chicago. By the time you're watching this video, I already uploaded my plant tours. I went to about five plant shops and if you haven't seen them, I would link the videos down in the descriptions. Do check them out. Out of the five plant shops that I went to, I bought plants in two of them. The Plantier, which is my favorite plant store here in Chicago, and The Sill, which just opened up a location here in Chicago. So yeah, so let me go ahead and share with you the plants that I got. These are all wishlist plants, well, all of them. Maybe one, not so much, but definitely all of this are wishlist plants and plants that I've been wanting to have for a long time. And this is why I love plant shopping in Chicago because what is common here is not so common back in Maryland or back in Washington, D.C. So even the plant shops that only sell common plants, they still have really good finds and that's why I love plant shopping here. But yeah, so let me go ahead and share with you what I got. First, I'm gonna share with you the plants that I got at Plant Here. I love Plant Here, as you might have watched in my plant tour video of the shop, because they sell mostly rare and uncommon plants but a really, really good price. They don't overprice their plants and they sell really good quality plants. So the first one that I got from the plant here is the Variegated Hoya Compacta. So I've always wanted to get this. This is a wish list plant. I'm not much of a Hoya person, but this is definitely on my wish list. I have the regular Hoya Compacta, the non-variegated one, and I've always been on a hunt on this. And I know this has popped up in garden centers like Lowe's sometimes, but it hasn't come in my area. And so far, the ones that I've seen though are not very variegated. As you can see with this one, this is very highly variegated. When I went to the plant here about a week before I got there, they announced on their Instagram that they have the Hoya Compacta Variegata available in their shop, but it wasn't a week later until I was able to get to their store because my flight wasn't like a week later. And luckily they still had one left in the store, which is this one and this one costs 35 dollars and this is probably the most expensive plant out of all the plants that i got but i think it's well worth it as you can see with how highly variegated it is and how much of the plant that i got and usually when you get it around at this price if you buy it from other places aside from lowe's if you buy it from etsy or any other place it packs a pretty hefty price so even though this is the most expensive plant that i got in my plant haul this one is very much worth the price at $35. And I'm really excited to add this into my plant collection. The next plant that I got, the Syngonium Confetti. I previously bought a Syngonium at Plant Year when I went there last year, which is the Syngonium Pink Splash. But for some reason, that plant wasn't really splashy. I couldn't complain because they only sold it to me for $10. But I also ended up giving away that plant. And when I saw this at the store, I wanted to get it because I wanted something that's actually splashy and this is the Syngonium Confetti which is one of my wishlist plants when it comes to Syngonium. And I got this one for $12. I don't know if you can see the price, but I got it for $12, which I think is a really good price, again, for a plant that is not very common. And as you can see how splashy it is, and it also has several plants in there. So I'm really excited about that. And when I get back to Maryland, I think I'll be separating some of the babies and I will use it for a giveaway or maybe even for a trade. So I'm very excited that I finally got a Syngonium Confetti. And the next one that I got the plant here is something that I'm really excited about. Because you know me, I love pothos. I try to collect every variety that I can get my hands on. And this variety is something that I didn't think that I would get right now. And this plant is the Apropenum Skeleton Key. So as you can see, this is the juvenile form. The mature form of the Epipenum skeleton key looks something like this. We'll insert a photo right here. And I've already packed this for traveling because I'm heading to the airport right after this. So that's why it looks like this. But yeah, so I got two cuttings of it. And this one already has a new growth about to push out. And this one actually has already a couple of leaves coming out, but the other leaf got damaged the other day. So I just took it out. 
but I kept the petiole because the petiole was forming a new leaf. And this one I only got for $25, which is amazing. Because even if I import this plant and somehow it would arrive in a good condition, I won't get it for this price. Or even if I get it for that price, I will have to also pay for phyto and shipping, which you know costs a lot when you import plants. So I'm really glad that I only got this for $25 and in such good condition and I can't wait for it to form a mature leaf. So yeah, so that is the Epipenum Skeleton Key. So I got a couple more plants from the plant here, which is honestly way more plants that I plan to buy when I come to Chicago. I was only planning to buy four plants, but I actually didn't spend a lot of money. And I will tell you in the end how much I spent at the plants here and at the sale. The next plant I got is something, well, it's, yes, it's on my wish list, but again, something that I didn't think or had in mind to get while I was at plants here or in, during my plant shop tour in general, and which is the Hoya Kentiana variegata. So at first when I saw this, I thought this was a Weedii, but the person at the plant shop said it was a Kentiana. Yeah, this is pretty much only a cutting, but it is rooted, it's fully rooted. Like I said, already been packaging my plants so that I could take them with me at the airport through TSA, so that's why it looks like this. But this has a fully grown root system and it looks really healthy. And again, it might be a small plant, but for $5 to get a Hoya Kentiana variegata, it's really good. And Editing Marion here, I look at my receipt when I came back. It's actually $10, not $5, but I still think it's a good price for a plant that I normally don't see or have access to. And yeah, it does look a lot similar to the VADI. And honestly, I'm not trying to get both. I think in a previous wishlist plant video, I said if I get the Linearis, VADI, or Kentiana, I just want one of those. I don't need all of them because they all look alike. Coming from someone who collects pothos, who everyone says also looks very similar. But for some reason, when it comes to Hoya, I can't appreciate the minute differences like I could with pothos. So with Hoyas, if I get one that looks similar to other plants, I only want one of them. I don't want all of them. So the last plant I got from the plant here is a plant that I didn't think that I was going to be able to get here because it's a pretty large foliage plant, and that is the Syngonium Chia Pants. So this is pretty much just a cutting, which is, I don't mind because I can't bring home a very large plant. And even this one is already a little bit tricky to try to include in my carry-on, but I'm glad that I got this. And honestly, I didn't even notice this. The person that I was at the plant shop just recommended it to me. And she said, oh, I have a cutting of the Syngonium Chia Pants and it's only $16. Do you want it? I was like, yeah, it's in my wishlist plant. And I wanted to get either the Chia Pants or the, I think, Macrophyllum Syngonium, but they both look so alike. So I only wanted either one of those, but I was definitely leaning towards the Chia Pants. So I'm glad I've actually got this. And what I like about this plant, it looks a lot like the Philodendrons that are more expensive or even the, some alocasias. But this one, obviously, I got for a lot cheaper. It is $16. There is some discoloration on top. It's not variegation. I think it is starting to yellow. But it does have a good root system, although it definitely needs to grow a bit more. And I haven't seen a point of new growth yet, but hopefully I will because in my experience, Syngoniums are very resilient plants. They're very easy to propagate, very easy to grow. So even if I do eventually lose this leaf, I think that the new growth that it will produce would definitely be as good as this one. So I'm not quite worried about the yellowing, but hopefully the yellowing doesn't happen at a rapid phase. I kind of like want to see new growth first before I lose this because it's kind of hard to take care of wet sticks and I will probably share in a future plant vlog video updates on the wet sticks that I'm propagating. They've been doing well so far at least as of this filming. I don't know we'll see when I get back in Maryland and when I show you in, at that vlog what actually happened to them but I'd rather not deal with wet sticks. I'd rather deal with something that has actual foliage. It's just for, you know, easier peace of mind. So those are the plants that I got from the plants here. And I have one more plant to share, which is a plant that I got from the sill. And this one's also a wishless plant. I've been wanting this plant for a long time, but I wanted a smaller one because I already have so much large ficus plant. And even the ficus Audrey that I got from the plant here last year, which I got like really, really small, maybe about this tall and this size, 
it's not a large plant. Because ficus plants, at least in my experience, or with the ficus plants that I have, they grow so quickly, except for one plant, which is the ficus benjamina, which is the one that I am going to give up in exchange for this plant. Because as you have been watching me for a while, just to keep my plant count low is to, whenever I bring in one plant, I have to give in one plant. So in place of that ficus benjamina, I now have the ficus tanniki. And this one's just a very small plant. It's not a large one. And like I said, I do prefer it to be small because I already have the really huge ruby ficus elastica. And that one probably started maybe just twice as size as this one. And within just like less than three years, it has grown so big. This one is probably gonna have the same growth pattern. It will grow really, really fast. So I don't mind getting it small. And this one I got for $12 at the sale, but because they now have a rewards program, when you sign up for it, you get 50% off your purchase. So I got 15% off this one. So this one probably only costs maybe a little bit over $10 if you also include the tax and whatnot. I don't know, I'm not, I can't do the math in my head. And you can use the discount both in store and on their website. And you can use it not just for plants, but for anything that they sell on the store, whether their merchandise, their t-shirts, and their pins. Actually, I got a pin from the Silla Swell, which I'm gonna show you right now. So here's the pin. I don't know if you can see it. It says plants make people happy. And I got two of them. This one was $4 each. But again, like I said, I got 50% off my first purchase. So I got this for a little bit less than that. The, so this one was $4 each, eight. This one was $12, $20. And I ended up paying $18 and some change. That's including tax already. So I did get quite a bit of savings shopping at the sale through the rewards program. So I highly recommend you sign up for it. And the reason that I got two pins is because I'm doing a birthday giveaway. My birthday is coming up, I think in a couple of weeks by the time this video is up. So that would be the length of the giveaway. Editing Marion here again, the winner will receive the pin, the My Ways is Life sticker, and a signed copy of my book, plus a plant cutting. So unfortunately, this one is only for my US subscribers because I am including a plant cutting in it. I can't ship plants internationally yet. And to enter, all you have to do is to be subscribed to me, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and comment down below what are your favorite plant shops to shop at. So maybe when I have a chance to visit your area, I know which plant shops to check out and do a tour. And of course, also share with me your Instagram handle. But yeah, it's very easy to enter and all the rules of the giveaway, the deadlines and all that is down in the description. Oh, but yeah, so all in all, I spent about 110 at plant year for five plants. And as I mentioned earlier, I I spent about $20 at the sale, but the plant itself only cost $12 plus 15% off. So I'm really happy with the plants that I got and I will update you what happens to them once I bring them back to Maryland, if I was able to travel with them successfully through TSA and through the flight, it's only an hour and a half. So there's no reason for this plant not to do well. But I remember last year, or a couple of times that I tried to bring back plants from Chicago and also from Florida. They did experience damage even while in my carry-on. So hopefully the method that I am employing today would be great. So I'm be carrying them in the paper bags that they came in. This the ones from the plant here and this one from the sill. And when I was at the sill, I also asked for extra tissue. They really have beautiful tissue to wrap their plants in and also a couple of their plant boxes to help me arrange them properly in my carry-on so that they don't get as damaged as I travel with them from Chicago back to Maryland. I hope you enjoyed my plant haul and all the videos that I've put up from my plant shop tours in Chicago to my vlogs. I hope you enjoyed all of them, but if you haven't seen any of them, I would link all of them down below as well as the playlist. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. I come up with houseplants and sustainable lifestyle videos every week. And if you haven't yet, go check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you, I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other and have a planty full day. Bye.